All right, y'all, welcome back. Welcome back to the Truth Seeker Network. It's been a minute since I did a video, uh, but this is going to be a little different today. I'm just going to do a little talk on this video. And the reason why I'm going to do a little talk is because of based on, you know, what's going on out here in the world today, as far as immigration, taxes, you know, and the way things are just run totally. I mean, we're living in a time now where everything seems like it's going, you know, haywire, right? We got illegal immigration going on, right? And then we got, like, for instance, the president, right? I mean, to me, this has been the worst president that we ever had since I've been alive, that I can remember at least. This this last four years has been terrible, right? This has been totally terrible. When they forced people to, you know, to take the you know what in the arm, and he was telling people, you know, this president was pushing that real hard. People lost their jobs, you know, all that type of stuff was going on. And now, even to the fact that right now, I remember when Trump was in office and he was trying to like, you know, you know, block up the border or or, or you know, stop stop immigrants from coming across the border so to speak, and they were calling him racist and all this other stuff. But now you look at it now, we have millions of millions of undocumented people that have crossed the border that are now in all the states of America. And the same president is giving these people um, basically health care. They're allowing them to come in healthcare, right? They're giving them money. And we have Americans that are on the street, living in tents. Their houses are being foreclosed on as we speak. Millions of people are being um, uprooted by inflation because they keep printing money. This president just sent another, what, $100 billion to Ukraine and Israel for war? For, for for all this and who who's that going to fall back on but the u.s taxpayers so now stuff is going to be higher for us and harder for us meanwhile you send the money to other countries around the world you got u.s americans living in tents losing their houses fighting to stay afloat They're talking about bringing, in some places, minimum wage to 20 bucks, 15. What is that going to do? $15, $20? That's not going to do too much. And in a lot of places, because uh, the cost of living is so much high. So much higher in these places. And the American people, we are falling farther and further behind. And yet, they just keep printing money and sending it off to other countries, you know? And the people in America, what, they give you a little $5,000 or a couple of thousand dollars? Most of the money, when they pass these trillion dollar uh, packages, right, they go to other countries. And and also uh, pet projects of these so-called people that's in Congress, they they got a lot of uh, projects that they get paid for. One, one I think one was for, um, a, a transgender something um, for seniors, some kind of living center, really? And that's where the U.S. taxpayer dollars are going. But is it our money or do they just keep printing money? Right? They just keep printing money and and and, and, and the tax, I mean, the taxes keep going up. Right? Everything's going up for us. And it, 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 as long as they keep printing that money, Everything is getting worse for the American people. And that's all they keep doing is printing and printing the money. You know, when they said we the people, when they came up with we the people, you know, they were talking about, see, Americans think when they said we the people, you know, and in and the, in the, in the, in the, was that the Constitution, whatever, they were talking about the people in that room. And, you know, in that room. They wasn't, see, we take it as that they were talking about all of us, but they were never talking about all of us. 
they, the people in the room, control everything, including like TikTok, right? These people are like your 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 um your 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 daddies and your mommies. See, you 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 Americans, you're not smart enough to think on your own. So we have to tell you what to think. And we can't let you have certain things, you know. You're not allowed to, you know, we got to protect you. And we we know that we don't need protection from these people. They're not protecting us, they're protecting themselves. It's not, it's got nothing to do with us. They really don't even care too much about us, be honest with you. I mean, think about this, y'all. Look at all the presidencies that, that we've had. You go to vote every four years, right? So if you look at the accumulation of all the all these politicians, and you know, politician means professional liars. But anyway, they go in and they tell you what they're gonna do. We're gonna do this, we're gonna change this. Remember when Obama came in talking about change? Yeah, all we got was change. But he came in for eight years and basically pimped and walked around and talked and, and looked cool. He looked cool. He did look cool walking around, you know. But he didn't do anything. He didn't pass stuff that we needed. When he came in, you know, people were losing their houses through a foreclosure. And then he came up with this health bill. You know, uh, Obamacare, whatever that was. At that time, people were losing houses, though. People were being foreclosed on. That's what people needed more than anything else during that time. But he came in with health care, affordable health care, supposedly. But look at the four years, look at all the years of y'all voting, and this is where we are today. Where we are today is the accumulation of all these people who said they were going to do this, that, and third, and came into office, and today's economy, today's debt, which is like, what, $35, $36 trillion? Right? This is where we are. High inflation, unemployment, right? Illegal immigration, you name it. This is where we are today. And now they're, and then when they pass stuff in Congress, it's like they are a separate body as compared to the American people. It's like, it's, 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 it's them and then it's us. And they tell us what we can do. They pass bills and laws. They don't even contact us. You just find out later on that they pass some bill or law that you don't know have nothing that you don't know nothing about. Well, they pass things that we don't know nothing about. They it's like when you like you watching the football game, you're watching the football game, right? And while we watching the football game, or or watching some show or being entertained or some news thing that's in the news, right? They're doing something else. They pass another bill behind your back and it's not to your benefit. You know, what was the purpose of the, the Boston Tea Party? Remember they said that they, they came over here, the Europeans came over here to get away from England because, and, and how they were waging taxes. So they took the tea supposedly and dumped it in the harbor. But don't y'all know that we pay more taxes? So you know that was a lie. Because if that was the case, if they wanted to get away from the king's taxes and all that, then why are we getting taxed to oblivion more than any time in history right now? Hmm? And do y'all know that even, even driving a car, right? Uh, you know, taxes was really meant for, was really meant for the corporations to pay the taxes, not the employee. That was originally how it was even with your driver's license, right? You didn't really need a driver's license. And mo a lot of people know this. A driver's license was made if you were doing commerce. If you, you needed a license, if you were doing commerce, that means you were working commerce, right? Not for the average person who's just driving along the road, moving from place to place because you're not doing commerce. But now all the laws have been pushed down on the people, and now we're paying taxes, not the corporations, the people are, individuals. You get taxed on your job, 
right? You see the gross pay, right? When you get the gross pay on your check, um, that's what you see on the top. But what do you get? See, you get what's left over. That's called net pay. Because everybody else gets their hand on the money first before you do get, before you get that money. And you get the net pay. And see, we work. So that that's why they won't need us to work. So that we will pay taxes so that they keep them on top. Of course, the taxes don't do anything good for us, right? It keeps us on the bottom. It makes your checks less, right? So now you have less to work with. And then when you get that check, then when you go to use it at the store, guess what? You're getting taxed again. And if you choose to invest your money, right, after you already been taxed on your money, and you choose to invest that money, guess what happens? They tax you on that again. Because they said you earn some more money. And this is the system that we're under. So everything is feel like it is, is not for us that we're enriching somebody else when you get paid. And it really is tiresome because you're working and working and feel like you're not getting anywhere. That's because everything is really against you. Pretty much everything is against you. When you're riding down the road and, then, you know, a lot of the police right there, they sitting on the road, right? They make money for the state. It's, you know, they make a lot of their, their money for, you go to the courtroom and you see traffic court. Now, some people deserve to get them tickets, right? We know that. We're not talking about them. You know, the people that speeding and all that kind of stuff, right? Way past you. We talking about this, somebody on their way to work or this or that, and they're getting tickets. And, and they just sped, set up little speed traps and just to give you a ticket for the state, just to make revenue. That's what they're using it for. When you can't win, it, feel, it feels that way. Then you go home, you park your car, guess what? You come back out, it's been towed. Yeah. Or you, you put your car, even if you live in a complex, you forget your pass. Right? I mean, you can prove to the people you you uh, you live in the complex, but guess what? If they tow your car, you're gonna pay the you're gonna pay the cost. And they come in, in the middle of the night and they snatch your car while you sleep. And so, you have to fight every single day. Things is not easy as it seems. Just to survive here, right? We got all the, um, our people, like I said, living in the streets. It's sad. It really is. And if and those people in that body over in DC, right? All they doing is, it's like, it's them and then it's us. They make up laws. They tell you what you can or cannot do. And then they, they vote. You don't get a chance to vote on it. Right. And, and here's the deal. Here's the deal right here. We sent these people up there. We go, we, we, we line up every year to vote, to put people in charge, to make rules over you. So they can tell you what you can or cannot do. Uh, to me, it's, it's, this whole system is, is, is screwed. Let's think about the people who are losing their homes right now, right? People are losing their homes. You got to uh, say, let's say that it's a young couple, right? They started out young in their 20s. They're all happy and giddy, right? They, they're just so excited, got their first home, right? So they go buy their first home and they raise their family in that home, right? They get a 30-year mortgage, right? And for the 30 years, right, they work, all kind of memories in the home with the children they raise and so forth. And now these people are now older, elderly. And now they're like, what, in their 60s or whatever. The house said, and they worked, they paid the house off. They paid all the taxes. Every year they had to pay property tax on the house. Every year they paid the taxes. Every year they paid the mortgage. 
They didn't miss any payments. They made it for the full 30 years. And guess what? Now one of them gets sick. House is paid for. Right? But they get sick. They got the deed to the, to the mortgage. Got the deed to the house. But guess what? They always left a loophole for them to take the house from you. And that's called the taxes again. How come when you pay off a house that you still have to pay taxes? There are countries in the world that once you buy the house and pay for it, it is yours. The land, the house is yours unless you sell it. Why in America do you work your tail off to pay your house off? Just for them to come and steal you because you have a medical issue later on in life and now you can't afford the taxes or something like that happens and then you lose your home. You lose your home and it could be a just a few thousand dollars. And on the other side of that, they got, you see these commercials with these tax liens, right? These people with these tax liens. They go, oh yeah, you can, you can get a house today with this, you know, by getting the tax liens. And they all giddy about it on that side too. They all happy and excited about that they bought it. And they show you the house that they bought. I bought this house for three hundred dollars. I, I just paid the taxes and bought this house for seven hundred and fifty dollars. But there's a there's, a, there's another side of the coin. They all happy that they got a house for seven fifty. But what about the family who just got ousted out of that home? What about them? Their whole history, generations. Kids grew up in a house. Everything's gone now. Because this government, the way they have set up is that they can always come back and take your stuff from you through the taxes. And they always can raise those taxes too. And you lose. And this can happen to any one of us. You spend your whole life paying that darn mortgage off, paying that house off. And you got so excited when you got it paid off. You feel like you accomplished something. And you did. But they want to take it back from you. All because they keep a way to get back in. And that's their little door to get back in your house, waiting for something to happen. Well, you can't afford to pay them taxes. So if I was president and running for president, that was one thing, that's one thing that I would stop, that I wouldn't want them to stop. When somebody pays their house off and works their tail off and paid the property taxes already, you can't keep coming back to them same people paying property tax a property that they already own. That makes no sense. But you know why they do it? Because the land that they got don't belong to them in the first place because they stole the land themselves. That's what's going on. And so many people, and I know y'all know people out there, what I'm talking about, what I just said, is going on with people right now. People are losing their houses because they can't afford to pay the taxes. They might have had a, a, a situation where they had to go to the hospital and they got sick. And when you get sick, somebody's ready to snatch your house from you. They should make it a law that once you pay your house off, can nobody touch that. That property is yours. You no longer have to pay taxes on that piece of property. That's the way it should be. And another thing, think about this. When you pay, when you work overtime at a job, why when you work overtime, when you work overtime, you go above and beyond. The company needs you, right? They need more, they need help. You volunteer to help, or sometimes you have to do it mandatorily. You have to do mandatory overtime. 
So why, when you do that overtime, why do they tax you more on the overtime for going above and beyond? If you do overtime, you should be taxed less money. You should be taxed less because you're going above and beyond. So you get punished for even doing overtime. How come any presidents don't run on with the stuff I'm talking about right now? Because the things I'm talking about would benefit the people. The American people for real. And don't tell me about, oh, we can't, we won't have money for the bridges. We won't have money for the schools. Y'all not doing that anyway. Go talk, go, go to your local school and talk to the teachers who got to buy supplies for the students. Because the school don't have any money. But then they said the lottery, when people win the lottery in your state, that money supposed to go to help your schools. Well, the schools I know around here, they don't, they don't seem to get any money. You got to pay for your own kid. If you want to go, if your kid can play on the sports, on a, on a sports team, football, basketball, or baseball team, or whatever, or track, you got to pay to, you got to pay to go watch your own kid play. Because they don't have any money. They're trying to raise money. And I'm not going to even talk about the underpaid teachers. Yes, the teachers are underpaid. I mean, I know some teachers and the amount of money they get and for all the stuff they got to go through. I mean, y'all wouldn't believe it. You just wouldn't believe it that they only get this little bit of money. Walmart money. And they educating the next generation. Supposed to be educating the next generation. Man, I tell you. But this country, this 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 last four years, I mean, open your eyes to a lot of stuff, you know, that's going on. And people are being laid off. But they say that everything is fine. Inflation is to the root, but everything is fine. Right? Then you can't even walk outside. It's been foggy all the time. And then every time you look across the sky, right, I see planes. I mean, mo majority of clouds are fake. Chemtrails. Look at these guys. All these clouds in the sky is fake. Look at these guys. All this is fake. These are not clouds. All this is chemtrail that you're seeing. And look at the planes that are constantly making these things. These people are demonic. They're blocking the sun and whatever else is, they're spreading in them clouds is coming down. And these are not clouds, y'all. None of this is clouds. There's the sun back over there. And they're just blocking the sun. Everybody should be reporting this stuff. But most people don't even pay attention. See those thin lines? They widen and widen and they turn to this right here. We watched them do each one of these lines. And then the new ones are going down, moving down this way. You can constantly see, you can see them moving. What are we gonna do, y'all? And why are they doing this? Chemtrails. Poison in the sky. And most people think these are just clouds, or it's cloudy outside. It's a cloudy day, but it's not. This is a shame. Chemtrails. I took a video the other day, and all those clouds up in the sky were fake. And you saw the planes going across, just spraying and stuff. And the stuff, it, 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 it it starts at the line and then it spreads out and it spreads and spreads and get wider and wider. And it's going on every day. All you got to do is look up in the sky and you can see these planes way up there just spraying. You see the regular planes just cruising by, you know, just a regular old passenger plane, like a United Airlines 
Those are not the, those are not the planes that spraying that stuff. And then what the heck is it? And what goes up must come down. They're trying to block the sun. But I, and also they're just spraying these chemicals up there. And this is fact. You can just look up in the sky. So what what's going on? Why are you blocking the sun? The sun gives us vitamin D. The sun is good for the plants. And then they have these green boxes on the side of the road. When your car ride past it, it checks your emissions. But what who's checking those planes emissions up in the sky? Those guys, the whole sky is like just lines all over, crisscrossing everywhere. Which way? What are they spraying in the atmosphere? But then they have the nerve to go for your car that you didn't even make. The manufacturer made the car. You didn't make it, but you got to pay the admissions because your carbon footprint. And this planet been here for billions of years, y'all. So all of a sudden, the planet needs these people to block the carbon, whatever they're trying to do. Does that make sense to y'all? See, these people are putting us in the world, in their world, and telling us, oh, we got to stop the carbon the footprint with all this other stuff they're talking. This planet been here for billions of years, but now it needs you guys to stop the carbon. But you know that we are carbon-based beings? So when you're saying you want to eliminate the carbon, are you talking about us? Who are you talking about? Carbon is going to be on this planet. It's part of the planet. It's like oxygen and, and water, H2O, H2O. So you're never going to get rid of the carbon off the planet. And if, if there's so too much carbon, then it's coming from the corporations more than anybody else. But you're going to tax the people. So who's taxing the people? Who's making these laws? Oh, those same people I just talked about. We the people, right? We the people in all these countries, they're making laws over the citizens, and the citizens got to follow whatever they say. And we vote for them every year to put them in office. But all that voting has got us to where we are right now. We are where we are right now on this planet right now. I mean, I don't even really know what to say. It's just that these are some of the things I've been thinking about, you know? Y'all about to go into another four-year election? And then, you know, you talk about Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency markets. How they try to scare y'all out of that. Y'all watch my videos. You know, I've been trying to tell y'all what's really going on. And they're going to continue to try to scare you out. When it was 16,000 and 15,000, I told you. Now it's just 60 something thousand dollars a coin. You know, it's going down. It was making 900 a day. Now it's only 450 made a day. Bitcoin going to be produced per day. And you had a chance, you still have a chance to get in right now. But now most of the rich people, the institutions, countries are now they're mostly buying it up so you talking about a dwindling supply it's not like a stock where things are going up you know a, a stock a stock for a company like coca-cola for instance can can make more shares so that's why every time you go on exchange you have you can buy their shares it's always going to be some available to buy 
Bitcoin is the first asset in the world now that's actually going down. It's getting scarcer and scarcer. So there won't be no more made. There won't be no more made of the Bitcoin. So those who have it, have it. Those who don't, don't. It's just plain and simple. But y'all, so like I said, anyway, these are some of the things that if I was president, I would run on. I would run on the fact is that when you own your home, when you own, when you work your tail off to pay off a property, you don't have to pay taxes on that no more. That property is yours. You paid enough tax on it throughout the years. You pay property tax every year on those properties. That property, there's no old person that paid that house off that should have that house taken from them. That is your home base. That is where your place to stay. You earned it because you paid for it. And it belongs to you. Only you. You should not have to pay taxes on that. Same with, same with a vehicle. Some states have you paying for your car. Property taxes every year. Your car paid off, but you got to pay property taxes on a car that you already own. That you paid property tax on when you first bought the car. And every year thereafter, you paid the property tax on. Even when you pay the car off, now you got to still pay property taxes on something that's supposed to be your property. You see, all that has got to stop. And like I said, when you work overtime, you should not be taxed more on overtime. You went above and beyond. Why does no president go for stuff like that or, or, or run on stuff like this? Stuff that can really benefit Americans. That stuff can help us a lot. But they won't do it because it's a system and they have to keep on. They're going to keep reselling that house over and over again. You, you're going to get happy, excited. You get the house. You raise your family there. Later on, you end up losing the house. You'd be forced to sell it or go into foreclosure. The bank get the house back again. And then the new family comes along again and the, system, and the cycle repeats itself all over again. And all of us don't think it'll never happen to us. So, like I said, this is a different, different type of video I did today. Just a little talk, you know. They got all these people coming into our country. They're everywhere. I remember during COVID, they locked us in. So you can't go nowhere. A lot of people had to stay home, right? You couldn't go nowhere. Now they're bringing all these people in. They're everywhere. Ain't nobody stopping them. Who knows what they have, what kind of disease they have. I mean, this is a perfect, perfect scenario for them to, you know, come up with some terrorist act or some new disease X just came out of nowhere. And they can easily come out and say, yeah, they, and they, can, they can easily blame all that on the people that came across the border. Who they don't even know who came across the border. There's millions who came across the border now. Millions. And they're still coming. And they're taking your jobs. They're squatting in people's houses. People are putting their house for sale. They got a for sale sign. They come back to the house. And then look at this. Lo and behold, somebody's in their house. And in some places, the people have to fight. They can't even kick them out of the house. That's called trespassing. If you put your house up for sale, man, these people are coming to mess the house up. They squatting people's properties. Now you got to go to court just to get them out. Is somebody trying to make America a third world country? You know, if you look at the food that we have here, right? The chemicals in the food is not allowed in other countries. And most people are unaware 
of all the chemicals and the poisons that's in the food, than the processed foods. And then, um, oh, I should probably put that in this video. I already made this too long, but they had, they were talking about genetically altering the food, the plants, where they can talk to you. So they could, you know, if they if they if they have a disease or something going on, they'll have some kind of fluorescent color that'll let you know that they're under some kind of stress. All right, speaking of climate tech, you may think of the agriculture industry as being green, but it's actually one of the world's biggest carbon offenders. And that's why startups are coming up with futuristic ways to reduce waste. Diana Olick explains in her continuing series on climate startups. Hi, Di. Hey, Ty. Yeah, what if I said we could now talk to plants? The plants could actually tell farmers when they're in distress, and then farmers could help them. That would not only reduce waste, but it could also streamline the use of pesticides. Sounds crazy, but it's real. Even with the use of pesticides, 40% of most food crops globally are lost to disease and pests. Agriculture already emits massive amounts of carbon dioxide, and this waste makes it worse. That's why companies like SatAgro, Climate Field View, and a California-based startup called InnerPlant are working to reduce agricultural waste. InnerPlant genetically engineers plants, making them able to communicate with farmers. So as the plant is reacting to the stresses in their environment, like fungal pressure, insects, or nitrogen deficiency, it will start to signal, and then we can help farmers understand what areas of the field need something. Interplant's technology uses fluorescence, so the plant's leaves emit a signal when in distress. That signal is detectable by devices that can be attached to satellites, drones, or tractors. Farmers then know what to treat and don't waste money on chemicals, which are up to 30% over-applied. We want to eliminate all the unnecessary applications of of chemicals into our food system, into our soils, and also the additional cost that comes to farmers that they don't get any benefit from. This plant-by-plant -plant technology is highly scalable and could be licensed to major seed companies. That royalty revenue would come back to Interplant, which makes it enticing to investors. If you can get this technology into every single corn seed or soybean seed across North America and maybe even South America, that is many hundred millions of acres. And you can think about, you know, a few dollars per acre. And that all of a sudden ends up in a lot of revenue for this business. In addition to Bison Ventures, Interplant is backed by John Deere, MS and AD, UpWest and B Partners. Total funding so far, $22.3 million. Interplant is now working closely with small farmers as well as some of the nation's top agriculture producers. Some have paid early access to the tech not to get the technology, which will start with soybeans and then expand to other crops. Back to you guys. Well, it sounds like technol technology that would come in handy for me with houseplants. I'm just curious then, what's the opportunity with these fluorescents? And, and does it go into the seed itself or it's part of the plant once there it's you it's know, the, the seed. Yeah, it's actually a genetically engineered seed. So it gets into the seed and then the seed are then sold to the farmers. The farmers plant it, it becomes a plant and, it's, and it emits the signal. But it actually just has immense, tremendous potential beyond just the farmers. It could be to the agricultural large producers as well as to the food producers who are themselves agriculture producers. Hmm. Diana, thank you. These people are sick. No, we don't want genetically... Hello, we do not want genetically modified plants. We don't want genetically modified food. We want organic. That's why organic food, when they put organic, it costs more. Nobody wants your stuff you created in a laboratory. You people are sick. Why can't you just leave stuff alone? We want the plants naturally, where they have more vitamins that'll help us. But that's not what y'all want. Why are you messing with the genetics of a plant? Don't tell me, oh, because you want to save it from disease. I'm going to tell you something right now. I'd rather have a plant that the bugs want. Because I know that plant is good. The way it naturally was. And when you do stuff, when you tamper with stuff, you take away from the nutrition from that plant, and it's not the same anymore. 
And I don't care what they say or their so-called experts say. Let them eat it. Because I don't want it. The water's polluted. They're polluting the air, like I said, with the chemtrails. The plants are polluted. The land is polluted. You can't even, you have to buy, I won't even drink bottled water. Even that's polluted. You got the plastic, they put it in plastic. BPH. Or BPA, one of those, something like that. You go look it up. The chemicals that's leached into the water. And how long is, when you buy your bottled water from the store, how long has that water, bottled water been sitting in that um, container? Hmm? And you just drinking it down. It could have been in there for months and you're just drinking it down in the plastic. They know this. They're well aware of the plastic contamination they cause in the water. So, like I said, this is just a different video. Y'all can grow your own food. Try to get your seeds. Save your seeds for all you farmers and all your holistic farmers out there. Organic farmers, save y'all seeds, people. You want stuff with seeds in it, okay? You don't want seedless anything. If it's seedless, that means it's been tampered with. You want stuff that grow. St stuff with seeds is more healthier than stuff without seeds. Plants, fruits, vegetables, they need to have seeds in them. It's more healthier for you. Do not eat the ones. I don't eat seedless watermelons. I never want one. I don't want seedless anything. When I bite into a fruit, I want to make sure it's got seeds in it. All right? So I know I've been talking about a whole bunch of different topics in this video. But I just want to have some common sense, y'all. It's like there's no common sense these days. I'm seeing people just lose their houses. They've been there 40 years, 75 years old. And they're getting their properties taken from them. It's crazy. Paid it off just to have it snatched back from them again. It should be passed down or sold if they wanted to sell it. And nobody should be able to touch that property. Nobody. Nobody should touch that property. You can come after them on other stuff, but their property, their home, that should be off limits. Once they paid it off and the deed, it should be done. But that's not what's going on. And so that's why you got the tax liens. They're looking for people that's distressed. And a lot of people can get distressed these days because if you get laid off from your job, which a lot of happened to a lot of Americans, and a lot of people relied on those jobs. A lot of people bought a new house because of that job they just got. Right? And now all of a sudden, the employer tells them they don't need them anymore. You got your pink slip. But you just bought a brand new house. And so, I don't know. It's up to the people. It's up to the American people to make changes. Y'all y'all put those people up in Congress. But those people are not supposed to be uh, above you. It's supposed to be for the people, by the people. They're supposed to be working for us, not for themselves to put laws on top of us. Not tell us what we can't or cannot do. Nobody gave them that power. Now they have that power. And that's what they're doing. They're passing bills and laws all around us. They're printing money left and right. And a lot of it is negative towards us. They're telling you, well, we don't want you watching TikTok. That should be up to y'all. That should be up to the American people what they want to watch. 
They don't stop. They, I mean, if they really care, they don't. They don't stop casinos from being built, do they? They still got the lotteries going everywhere, knowing the majority of people are going to be broke. Knowing that the majority of people are not going to win. The house always wins. And the people who go into MGM and all these casinos that y'all going to, y'all got to understand one thing. The reason why the building is that big, the reason why they keep on building more casinos, you think you're going in to make money. You the guinea pig. They going to make money off of you. Because you think you're going in, you're going to make go hit it big. And you walk into the building, you throwing, you just throwing money in the machines. You making them rich. And they get profits. And profits for their shareholders. Because you don't know you, you're financially financially illiterate. You don't know no better. You go in there thinking you're gonna make money. Same with the lottery. How many people know how many people who won the million, who won millions and millions of dollars in the lottery for real? It's always somebody way over somewhere else in another state. You think about the lottery. You got all these people. Say, say the uh, it's like a, it's going to a billion dollars these days. And all these states, right? One person win the lottery, say in California, but what about Texas? What about Virginia? What about New York? That means all those lottery outlets in all of those states, y'all seen it, all the people lined around the corner, everybody buying tickets, some people putting hundreds or thousands of dollars worth into the tickets in all these states. And only one person won in another state. All that money in all those machines. How come Congress is not looking out for you and saying, hey, we can't, we don't want you, we got to stop this lottery thing. It's making Americans poor. Most of your scratches, most of the scratches you scratch are duds. Very few people win. But every time you think you're going to be the one though. But how come they're not stopping that? But then they want to tell you, we're going to stop you from watching TikTok or we can't have you. We got to protect the American people from cryptocurrency, from Bitcoin. But the lottery is allowed. The casinos are allowed. Gambling facilities are allowed. Doesn't that hurt Americans more than anything else? You should be teaching them classes how to build wealth, how to invest. Instead, that's a tax on the poor because everybody hoping that they're going to get rich. And the truth of the matter is, you're not. The majority of you, majority of people will not get rich. Anyway, y'all, I made this video long enough. This is the Truth Seeker Network. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I don't know, y'all. We just have to wake up. We got four years. A couple of months now, they're going to be voting for another president. And then what's going to happen? This president right here, he's been sending money to everybody else, taking care of everybody else but us. Money been going all across hundreds of billions of dollars, and we got homeless Americans all over the place. People are struggling because of inflation. Jobs are not keeping up with the inflation. The money you get on your paycheck is not keeping up with inflation. You got CEOs of companies who make hundreds, millions of dollars a year. Y'all, y'all look up some of the, just look up some of the CEOs, how much they make a year. But you can't employ your employee, you can't pay your employees, but fifteen dollars an hour.
but some of these some of them CEOs making thirty million dollars, forty fifty million dollars a year. Some will make more than that. But you can't pay your the people who really do the real work. But fifteen dollars an hour, and they got to go home and try to raise. They got to work two and three jobs. They try to pay their rent, pay their mortgage, raise their family, try to buy food, clothes. And every time you go out, you're being taxed even more again. So don't talk, talk to me, don't talk. To me. I don't even know why they even teach the, the Boston Tea Party. I mean, you might want to even teach that in schools. Because you're being taxed more today than ever before. You say you was running from taxes, then you can't go back and create taxes. It, so that, that whole story was a lie to me. Because you ain't run from taxes. Why are you going to come back and tax your citizens? Hmm? Y'all came here. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say this too. <laughs> and y'all call me black. Or Negro. Or African American. Now I'm an African American now. That's my new name. Although we got nothing to do with Africa. And this government knows that we were always here. And going to tell us a story, his story, is that we got brought us here on slave ships. You know, that's a bold-faced lie. And a lot of us know that we were always here. Our families have always been here. There were melanated people on every continent on this whole planet because it was a melanated planet. And they know that. They dig it, they deep. The, the 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 deeper they dig, excuse me, the digger they deep, the the deeper they dig, and you can see the statues, everything. Even even on the premium walls, it show you what the people look like. Even in the Grand Canyon. And so, for them to for this little fakeness that goes on on the media is ridiculous. It's like every dark skinned person came from Africa. That's not true. The whole one thing was Pangea at one point. You look at the continents. They look like they, they fit like a puzzle. Right? It was one big landmass. And it broke. Everybody is not from Africa. If everybody came from Africa, Africa would be the most advanced land on this planet. But it's not. The Americas are. Because Americans are older and they know that. That's why they got the Grand Canyon blocked off. Because the pyramids and the Sphinx in the Grand Canyon is older than the one in so-called Egypt. But they're not going to tell you that. The mound builders of them in the Americas got some of the oldest pyramids. The all Mac heads, they show you what the people look like. So why is this so hard? Why can't we just tell the truth? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is the Truth Seeker Network. Peace till next time, y'all. I'm out.